Boston Cup race of the year. And his 13th career start. Let's go back down to Dick Bergman, who is with a very nervous individual, Dick. Well, I am with Deborah Allison. Deborah, how do you feel at this moment? Very nervous. <laughs> That's what they said on top. What are you thinking at this point? What's going through your mind? I'm trying not to get too excited, but I just hope he can do it. I just hope he stays out front. But you've been here before when your husband has won at Talladega. You've been here before when Davey has won at Talladega. I was here when he won the ARCA race, and but this is just the great. I mean, this is just so much better. Crash it's in turn two. We've got a problem in turn two. A car sliding to the bottom of the racetrack. I believe that's Ken Reagan, is it not? Yeah, Kenny Reagan, number 77, did not see it develop. There was some flame as the car was coming down the banking. Uh, apparently, it has snuffed out. Now, the interesting move here is, if there is a move by everybody, will everybody pit? Will people try to make last-minute adjustments in an effort to catch Davey Allison? Will Davey come in? Are they completely happy? Have they saved one set of tires? We have seen many, many Winston Cup races won at this very moment. One car is dominant, everybody pits late in the race, and somebody, usually one of the veteran crews, pulls a rabbit out of their hat. Lap 164, and regardless of any uh, adjustments in the pit area, it is going to bunch up the field. And Davey Allison is going to have a rear view mirror full of Terry Labonte and Bobby Hillen Jr. and Kyle Petty and Dale Earnhardt. 25 laps to go. Looks like everybody is looking down low. They'll all be coming here to pit lane. Now, what if Davey Allison, Joey Knuckles and crew, are they not the first one out? Will he still have the oomph? to get around everybody. Darrell Walter momentarily caught up behind him. He probably forgot for just a couple of seconds there that Davey pitted down near turn number four. They're going to put new tires on the right side of the car. That car working very well, but Davey apparently thinks it can go faster there. Meanwhile, there's some work being done on the Terry Labonte Jr. Johnson car as Labonte is on the bottom and Allison on the top of your screen. Now more they're tires. changing, yeah, rubber on, all, on both sides. Junior Johnson himself doing some work on the passenger side of the windshield on the Terry Labonte car. Davey Allison's work is completed. He goes back out there. All Terry Labonte jo remaining, though, in the pit area. There he goes. Excuse me, Bob. All of Joey's years, pull. look at there. Earnhardt beats them out of the pits. They beat Helen Jr. out there. Dale Earnhardt is the first one out of the pits. All of Joey Knuckles' years of experience paid off over the years with Cale Yarborough. Obviously, there was no choice. He had to change the tires because they figured everybody else would. He had to go with new rubber. A yellow flag is out the ninth caution period of the afternoon because of an incident up in turn number two involving Ken Reagan. The crowd remains for the finish of the Winston 500. Bodega for the Winston 500. It's getting pretty dark here. Really, the camera does not reflect the darkness. Perhaps those yellow lights that are flashing on and off give you a better idea of how dark it is getting. Skies are still in pretty good shape. No threat of rain to uh, interrupt the finish of this race. We are interrupted here as far as green is concerned because of an accident in turn number two involving Ken Reagan. Ken got up against the outside wall, scraped along it for a while, and then slid down the backing as in the uh, inside of the racetrack on the apron as the track safety crews are over there tending to and cleaning up the debris scattered by Ken Reagan. There are the clouds, but uh, I would consider them just partly cloudy high clouds. Dale Earnhardt came into today's race as the only driver to lead eight of eight races, and he has led a couple of times, make that a few times today. So he's the only driver to lead nine of nine races, and quick pit work has once again gotten Earnhardt out. This is the stuff the champions are made of. These guys are just amazing this year. Without a doubt, Dale has not been the fastest car today. I mean, it's been bad enough when he's been the fastest car because Richard Childers and crew get him out in front of everybody else anyway, and now they're still turning the trick. They get him out of the pits here with inside of 30 laps to go, about 25 laps to go. I think that 23 laps to go, and he is up front again. Let's give you the nine cars that are on the lead lap. Earnhardt, Davey Allison, then the number 27 car, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Killen Jr., Terry Labonte, Kyle Petty, Neil Bonnet, Dave Marcus, and Ken Schrader. A lap down in 10th position, is Morgan Shepard, then Lake Speed, Benny Parsons, and Daryl Waltrip. Those are the top 13, nine on the lead lap. 
Also coming into today's race, or should I say this evening's race, Earnhardt had 148 points more than he had in 1986 at this time. Bill Elliott had 193 points more. He has not been able to keep up with the pace, but Dale Earnhardt has. Can Dale Earnhardt substantially add to that total? We'll be back to let you know. ESPN and Bill Elliott racing fans here at Talladega. Elliott has dropped from competition. He will not win here today. Well, NASCAR, we understand, has just announced that in 10 more laps, this race will end. And that is because, I assume, of darkness. It will be 10 laps from the point of the green flag. It is Ooh. getting rather dark here, but uh, we're only 21 laps away from the official finish of the race, but they say...